most amazing thing about racing is the other guys. They bring an unpredictability into it, and that's what makes racing so much fun. I never really liked Michael. You know, when you want to win on the track, you can't actually be friends. Um, um, and then I met him 20 years later, and I was like, he's actually a very nice guy. No petrol heads cupboard is complete without one of these exclusive new shirts from our Center Metal online store. Buy one for yourself or as a gift right now while stocks last. Link in the description below. Dionne Barr, I used to race for BMW back in the day with uh, Group N cars and also with Touring cars, um, really in the, in the glory days of motorsport in South Africa. A Homologation Special is a motor car that is built in the factory to comply with rules for motor racing. Hi there, it's uh, Mike Briggs and uh, sometimes I'm better known as Mr. Superboss and uh, here I am today in a, in a car that I have a long history with. For me, it, it, it defined the biggest part of my racing career. So it, it's just almost, I get a little bit choked up just trying to explain it to you. It's, um, it's such a special car, such a special time in my life, uh, developing this car, racing this car. Uh, so it's just, it's the greatest feeling. I'm just the happiest guy in the world at the moment. You know, this car is, is, is 30 years old and driving it today, it is, it is raw, pure motoring, you know, and I think certainly as a racing driver, uh, that's something I appreciate. To me, there was quite a big jump right here with this shadow line and the Superboss. Things got fast, the cars became uh, very reliable and, and amazing. I mean, this car, you could probably drive every day. If you could buy this car new, you might want to. Um, but we, we, I felt like the previous cars from the 70s and, and the 80s, you didn't really want to do that. You know? So there was a big leap forward in motor cars, I think, and we were part of that. It's amazing. But to see these cars together and, and to have Michael and, and see them on the track, and, and it just brings back all those memories, especially Especially, obviously, of Tony Viana. The guy you wanted here is Tony Viana, but he unfortunately is dead. Viana represents all the winning in the BMW, so I was Viana's sidekick in a way. At the time, I didn't realize how privileged I was to be part of um, such a special program, and I would never have guessed um, that these cars would become cult cars the way that they've done. So, you know, for me, it was more than just driving the cars as a racing driver and as a racing car. I was very involved because Delta Motor Corporation were based in PMP based. And so I was involved. I would sit up until 10, 11 at night when the guys were tuning the engine on the dyno and developing the car. So I really have such a strong um, affinity to this car and I feel like it's, it's, it's part of my DNA is in this car. Um, you know, from, from the development side of it, right through to the point where I got to race this car and, and we got to take on the mark of the, of the BMW and, uh, and we made history. Um, you know, as I say, I'm only older, as one gets older you realise uh, how important these things are, but as a brash young racing driver I didn't realise I'd be in this position that I, uh, I get emotional about a racing car. So very, very special for me to be reunited with uh, a car that basically if you did the DNA test we both have the same DNA. So beautiful day for me. person but obviously it was pride at stake firstly taking on Dion Joubert and, and, and proving how good the super boss is and front wheel drive cars traditionally on the fastest off the line but you know this car's special it's got the um, Andre Favey developed LS difference so you, you know you minimize wheel spin and you know I think we, we saw there that little two litre car developed in Port Elizabeth South Africa um, could put legs on, on, on the BMW so there was a lot of pressure on, on, on me because I kind of feel like I'm carrying the weight of, of the entire Opal fan base. But uh, it, it was good to, to, to get the, the competitive juices flowing again and prove just what a fantastic car this thing is.
Mr. Briggs, Mr. Hubert, how are you? Very well, lucky. Good. We've had the most amazing day. All the cars that we had today, and particularly these two cars, because to me these, these cars represent a leap forward. And I was saying to Martin, you know, I think I've driven almost 200 motor cars now around Kilani for lap times, and I'm involved with new cars all the time, and yet driving these two cars was still special. Very yeah. special, yeah. Somebody needs to preserve our history. We are so blessed in this country yes. to have had a strong automotive industry where we were allowed to do crazy things like build cars like these. And Dion and I were saying, you know, one thing, these cars are 30 years old, but they don't feel like it. And it's taken, it's taken me back 30 years. There was two boys, we're two like kids today. Don't be yeah. fooled by the gray hair and our, <laughs> our bulbs not being as bright as they used to be, but, but th they just raw motor cars. And it's yeah. so special. I'm so happy that these guys are now saving part of our motorsport history in this country. Yeah. So uh, it's just been fantastic. Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.